www.girlblingandthings.com. Today I'm going to show y'all how to use this uh, fur a loop yarn. And this process is going to be the same with all loopable yarns. But today I'm using this Yarn Bee Fur a Loop. And I have a piece here that I've worked up. And you can see how soft and just squishy this texture is. I am making it for a backdrop. Picks on from my blog and Instagram. And here I have used almost a whole skein of the fur loop and it is about 21 inches wide and it's pretty tall so far so this yarn kind of goes farther than i thought it would because there's only 11 yards in each skein but because it is so thick and bulky it actually makes quite a larger piece i thought i may only need two skeins i thought i'd at least need three but anyway, I'm going to grab this other skein here and we'll get started. I'll show you how to use and work with loopable yarn. So for the fur loop yarn, it's a little bit harder to see than the regular loop yarn. So it's one of those you just have to really take your time with it and fill it. Um, I'm going to the piece I have over there is 20 loops or stitches wide. This one, I'm only going to do about maybe five stitches so y'all can... Uh, see how I'm working it there is five stitches right there one two three four five and I am going to just lay these out like so and to do our first row so y'all can see so I'm going to take that first loop and pull it through the loop like so one, okay we're going I'm going to pull this so it is in front here so then you're going to just feel and find the next loop and you're going to take it and pull it in like so. There you go. So next we're going to take our next loop. And just make sure you don't skip any loops as you grab. And you just pull it through. Just make sure I lose them. Okay, next loop. The main thing is, like I said, just make sure you don't skip any loops. So you don't have any extra um yarn anywhere. Next loop. Like so, and then the last loop. Our next loop. Like so. And then I'm just going to turn this and put it this way because we're going to go back this direction. So after you go through the last loop, you're just going to find the next loop in the string of your loops and you're going to pull it through that first loop again. And the main thing is remember every time you go back and forth at that very last loop you went in, you're going to pull another loop through it so you don't uh, skip it. And then you just pull it through like so. And it is a little bit easier once you get it started. And I'll show you the uh, larger piece I have right here like so. And it gets easier once you uh, continue on. We'll work on it a little bit and I'm going to show you how to add in a new skein. So once you get to the end like I am here and this is all I have left in the skein, it's uh, best to start a new skein of yarn or this loopable yarn at the beginning of a row. So this one just worked out where I had two loops left after I worked this last stitch. So all you're going to do is to end it, I'm just going to cut those little loop, the last two loops off and I'm just going to get my other skein of yarn and you're just going to start like you're doing and pull a loop there and then just continue the same pattern as you was and pull the loops through. So that's basically all you do is you just pull, continue pulling your yarn, the little loops through each loop and then you can just cut this loop come undone at the beginning of the skein and you can just cut it off and like so. And then I will show you how to, when you're finished, how you bind it off so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to bind this off or when you come to the end of your project and you're done. You want to make sure of that last row. You want to make sure you save enough of the yarn to go across your project one more time. So uh, to bind this off, you're going to take it and you're going to start like you normally would and pull up a loop in the first stitch and then you're going to pull up a loop in the next stitch. So I've worked the first two stitches 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the first one that we worked. And I'm going to pull the second one through the first one. Like so. So then that binds off that first stitch. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to take the next stitch in this row. And I'm going to work it like normal. And then I'm going to take that stitch that we just, that uh, we binded off the one stitch. Now we got this stitch. So after you work this stitch, you're going to pull that stitch through like so. And you're going to continue that process all the way down and across. So I'm going to work the next stitch here like normal. Like so. Then I'm going to take this stitch and pull it through. I'm just going to continue that process all the way across. Work the next stitch like normal. Okay. Take your stitch that you bound off. Pull the stitch you just made through it. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. And that's how you bind off. And I'll show you how you take care of the very last stitch. Okay. So once you've reached the very last, you've pulled your very last stitch through your last loop, you have one loop left. You're just going to, if you have a really long tail, you can cut it off a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to, this is all I had left of that one skein. I'm going to take it and pull it through that very last loop. And pull it tight to keep it from coming undone. Just like that. And then you can kind of take this tail and you can just weave it in and out some of these stitches. To like weave it in like so. I just take it with my fingers and kind of pull it in and out. So, because you cut too short, you risk it coming undone. So you can just kind of weave it with your fingers. To, but this yarn, it's so furry. You can just weave it in and out like that where you can't see it. And that is how you work with fur loop yarn. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all did, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to check out my blog for other free craft tutorials and crochet patterns.